No one was ready for this. One day, the auto industry was locked in its endless EV turf war, fighting over charging times, battery chemistries, and who could shave a minute off a recharge. The next day, BYD unveiled the world's first mass-market hydrogen combustion car for under $30,000. This was not a futuristic sketch or a concept car. It was a real, production-ready machine that can travel 550 miles on a single hydrogen fill, outpacing most premium EVs and even some gas sedans. The announcement was a complete surprise, with no prior leaks or hints, leaving industry analysts stunned. The CEO did not mince words, calling it the final nail in the EV dominance era, a statement that sent a chill through boardrooms globally. Within hours, BYD's stock price exploded, adding $6 billion in market value almost overnight. The market was reacting to a seismic shift in the economics of clean transport. When the first technical details emerged, they revealed a new breed of combustion technology. The heart of the car is BYD's proprietary dual-phase hydrogen injection system, a setup that achieves 30% more efficiency from each gram of hydrogen than previous designs. Paired with lightweight alloys that reduce engine mass by 18% compared to a standard internal combustion engine, the powertrain is a precision-engineered solution. To solve the challenge of heat loss, BYD integrated a dedicated hydrogen cooling system to maintain consistent performance in extreme climates, from Los Angeles traffic jams to frozen highways in Harbin. The only tailpipe emission is water vapor. The system also includes a fuel cell hybrid assist, giving the driver a boost of instant electric torque during acceleration while the hydrogen engine handles cruising speeds. For years, hydrogen cars like the Toyota Mirai and Hyundai Nexo were expensive curiosities with prices over $60,000. BYD has smashed that barrier through mass production muscle, leveraging its optimized plants in Shenzhen and Changsha to achieve costs no competitor can match. The hydrogen tanks themselves have passed the latest UN crash safety standards, surviving extreme pressure and impact tests. Refueling takes only 5 minutes for a full 550-mile range. The comparison is brutal for the competition. This BYD model undercuts the Toyota Mirai by tens of thousands of dollars while delivering more range and faster refueling. It is cleaner than gas, faster to fill than an EV, and cheaper than any previous hydrogen car. Understanding that infrastructure is critical, BYD did not wait for it to appear. Instead, the company partnered with CIPC, China's state-owned energy giant, to launch 1,200 hydrogen refueling stations by 2027. These are not vanity projects but strategically placed stations across major travel corridors. Each station is tied to a renewable-powered hydrogen production system, using solar and wind power to create green hydrogen on-site, which slashes the carbon footprint by 90% compared to hydrogen made from fossil fuels. BYD also introduced modular, swappable hydrogen cartridges, similar to propane tanks, ideal for rural areas or fleet depots without immediate access to a station. The rollout will begin in key regions like Guangdong, Shanghai, and Beijing. The announcement sent shockwaves through the industry. Toyota and Hyundai called emergency board meetings, as their hydrogen vehicles suddenly looked overpriced. European automakers realized their hydrogen station rollout is years behind. The technology also threatens Tesla's advantage in long-haul trucking, where fast refueling is essential. Even the oil and battery material industries are concerned, as widespread hydrogen adoption could reduce demand for lithium, cobalt, and nickel. BYD's success stems from its vertical integration. The company makes its own batteries, motors, and now hydrogen engines, allowing for total control over quality and cost. BYD has also signed bulk hydrogen contracts, locking in a price below $3 per kilogram for five years, which is competitive with or even cheaper than gasoline in some markets. Combined with Chinese government subsidies of roughly $4,000 per car for early adopters, the $30,000 price tag becomes very compelling. By sourcing parts domestically, BYD avoids import tariffs, giving it a double advantage of low production costs at home and an easy path to exports. The export plan is already in motion, targeting Southeast Asia first, followed by Europe. The car's performance specs are impressive, with a 0 to 60 miles per hour time of 7.8 seconds, which is competitive with sports sedans and gas crossovers. The top speed is 118 miles per hour, a deliberate choice to maximize efficiency. Prototypes underwent rigorous testing in Inner Mongolia, proving they can start instantly even in temperatures below minus 30 degrees Celsius, with torque rivaling a diesel SUV thanks to the hybrid assist. 
The cabin remains whisper quiet, making for a serene driving experience. On a macro scale, this technology could significantly reduce China's annual oil imports, which is both an environmental and geopolitical advantage. It provides a tangible tool for meeting carbon neutrality goals. If BYD's technology takes off, it could shift global energy dynamics, giving oil importing nations a credible alternative. The company's patents in injection systems, tank safety, and hybrid integration could become a profitable licensing business. For everyday drivers, the appeal is day-to-day -day convenience, a five-minute refuel for 550 miles of range. Hydrogen power also avoids the supply chain issues associated with battery materials like lithium and cobalt. Furthermore, hydrogen production can help manage energy grids by using excess solar or wind power during off-peak hours, which is then stored and dispensed as needed. This makes it a viable clean transport solution for regions with weak or unstable electrical grids. The public response was immediate. In the first 24 hours, reservations in China surpassed 50,000 units, with strong interest from taxi and rideshare companies for whom minimal downtime is crucial. Rural farmers saw the potential of portable hydrogen for vehicles and generators. Commentators compared the launch to the Ford Model T moment for hydrogen vehicles. Interest also came from fleet operators in Japan and the UAE. Challenges remain. Outside of Asia, hydrogen infrastructure is patchy. In the US and Europe, public stations are scarce. Maintenance requires specialized training for mechanics that is not yet widespread. Globally, most hydrogen is still produced from natural gas, which undermines the environmental benefits unless green production is prioritized. Public perception in Western markets is also cautious due to outdated safety concerns. Competitors like Toyota and Hyundai have the capacity to respond with their own upgrades. BYD is playing the long game. The hydrogen engine architecture is scalable for buses, trucks, and locomotives, sectors where batteries face limitations. Geopolitically, China is discussing infrastructure partnerships with African and South American nations, positioning hydrogen as a soft power export that allows countries to leapfrog fossil fuel dependency. BYD's patents could influence future automotive regulations, potentially qualifying hydrogen cars for incentives on par with EVs. The true genius of BYD's strategy lies not merely in the vehicle itself, but in the creation of an entire, self-reinforcing ecosystem. While other manufacturers produce a car and hope the infrastructure follows, BYD is building the road and the car simultaneously. This holistic approach is what transforms a technological achievement into an undeniable market force. The partnership with CIPC is accelerating at a breathtaking pace. The planned 1,200 stations are being deployed with a focus on major national highways and key logistic hubs, effectively creating a hydrogen corridor network that makes intercity and cross-province travel a practical reality from day one. This methodical high-density rollout is designed to shatter the chicken-and-egg problem that has plagued hydrogen for decades. By guaranteeing that early adopters will have places to refuel, BYD removes the single greatest point of anxiety for potential buyers. Simultaneously, the portable hydrogen cartridge system is being targeted for commercial and industrial applications. For businesses with private fleets, delivery vans, warehouse forklifts, agricultural machinery, the ability to have swappable fuel canisters delivered on-site is a revolutionary concept. It eliminates the need for expensive infrastructure investments and offers a level of energy independence previously unavailable. This strategy effectively creates two parallel markets, one for public, station-based refueling and another for private, depot-based cartridge swapping, ensuring the technology's relevance across a vast spectrum of users. The international response is evolving from shock to strategic counterplay. In Europe, policymakers are facing increased pressure to fast-track hydrogen infrastructure projects that have long been stalled by bureaucracy and debate. The fear of being left behind by a Chinese automaker is a powerful motivator. There is now serious discussion about creating an EU hydrogen alliance to subsidize station construction and standardize regulations, hoping to create a fertile ground for European automakers to compete. Meanwhile, Toyota and Hyundai are not conceding the market. Industry insiders report all hands-on-deck projects focused on developing next-generation, cost-reduced hydrogen fuel cell and combustion systems. Their challenge is immense, to simplify their designs for mass production without sacrificing their renowned reliability. They are betting that their decades of experience and established brand trust will outweigh BYD's first-mover price advantage in certain markets, 
particularly in North America and Europe where consumer loyalty runs deep. The ripple effects are extending into the energy sector. Major oil and gas companies, once hostile to hydrogen, are now quietly repositioning. Seeing the inevitable shift, several are announcing investments in blue hydrogen projects, hydrogen produced from natural gas with carbon capture, as a transitional step. Their vast experience in fuel distribution and station management suddenly becomes a valuable asset, and partnerships between automakers and energy giants, once unthinkable, are now being cautiously explored. For the consumer, the narrative is shifting from if to when. The conversation around clean cars is no longer a binary choice between gasoline and battery electric. BYD has successfully inserted a compelling third option into the mainstream consciousness. The tangible benefits, rapid refueling, long range, and minimal change from familiar driving habits, resonate strongly with a segment of the population skeptical of EV's limitations. The final chapter of this story is yet to be written. The coming years will be a global race between manufacturing scale, infrastructure deployment, and geopolitical maneuvering. But one thing is certain, the automotive landscape has been permanently altered. BYD did not just unveil a car, it lit a fuse under the entire global transport system, forcing a re-evaluation of what comes next. The era of a single, dominant clean energy solution is over. The future is now a three-horse race. Industry analysts see this as the iPhone moment for hydrogen vehicles. BYD has taken a niche technology and packaged it with a compelling form, price, and infrastructure plan that makes it suddenly realistic for mass adoption. This launch forces a fundamental question. If hydrogen can be clean, cheap, and as convenient as gasoline, why stick with anything else? The answer is not just about cars, but about rewriting the fuel playbook for the next generation of transport.